हेलो एवरीबॉडी वेलकम बैक टू द वीडियो सीरीज लेक्चर ऑफ पी पी एस एंड दैट इज प्रोग्रामिंग फॉर प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग माय नेम इज जीनल झाला एंड आई एम योर इंस्ट्रक्टर ऑफ दिस सब्जेक्ट इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैड ऑलरेडी कंप्लीटेड अवर फिफ्थ मॉड्यूल दैट इज यूजर डिफाइन फंक्शन एंड टूडे इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अवर सिक्स मॉड्यूल एंड मॉड्यूल नेम इज रिकर्जन एंड इट इज अ पार्ट ऑफ यूजर डिफाइन फंक्शन because in this module we have to use the concept of user defined function so first of all what do you mean by recursion recursion means function calling itself is called as a recursion means you are calling yourself is called as a recursion and how we can use it so let's see first of all which are the topics we have to learn in this module very first topic is introduction in this introduction we will see the definition how it will work and benefits of recursion benefits and drawbacks of recursion then after our next topic is different applications where we can use the concept of recursion and last topic is one example and also we will do some practical so start with very first topic that is introduction as i said the definition of recursion is like function calling itself is called as a recursion and recursion is the alternative of loop means uh, the program which we can build using loop the same program we can build using recursion concept also if you want to make program using recursion then you have to follow two different cases our first case is a recursive case and second case is base case uh, what do you mean by recursive case uh, the process which you want to do in repetition form uh, this part you have to write in your recursive case means at that time function calling itself again and again and what do you mean by base case base case means some termination condition uh, when you use the concept of loop in loop you have to also write one termination condition otherwise it will go in infinite loop same condition happen here if you don't write your base case then your function calling in infinite calling situation that's why these both case are very important for build a program using recursion let's see the benefits and drawbacks of using recursion so very first benefit is easy solution for recursive defined problem then after complex program can be easily made using less code means by using recursion we can optimize our program code so these all are the benefits of using recursion now what are the drawbacks of recursion so recursive code is difficult to understand and debug because when you want to build a program using rec recursion the logic will be difficult compared to loop concept then if you don't write terminating uh, condition means base case then it is possible it will go in infinite calling situation so this is also one drawback and execution speed will be decrease when you use the concept of recursion why because all time function calling itself again and again and this activity take many times that's why we can say that uh, by using recursion uh, the program speed will be decrease now let's see the application of recursion where we can apply this concept so uh, in upcoming semester you have to learn one subject that name is data structure and in this data structure we have to learn different different data structures like tree linked list queue stack all but in linked list and uh, trees uh, concept we can use the recursion then after in different sorting algorithm we have many different inbuilt sorting algorithms but in quick sort and merge sort uh, we can easily make a program using recursion because iterative concept is difficult in merge sort and quick sort iterative concept means using loop next a uh, third application is if you want to find your files in a folder and subfolder in hierarchy then recursion is also beneficial so this is also one application and in elevator programming also we can use the concept of recursion so these all are the applications of using recursion 
Now let's understand how we can write the program using recursion. So here the definition of program is like print high for n times and if you enter 0 or any negative number then print just by. So how we can write the program uh, and our definition is like if I am enter n is equal to 3. So 3 is one positive integer. So 3 times it will print high and at last message by and our program execution will be stop. But if I enter 0 or any negative number then it will just print the by and our execution will be stop. So here we have to use uh, concept of user defined function because recursion is a part of UDF. So first of all our first part is function declaration. So I am writing here first function that is void and function name is high and in bracket I am passing one integer variable. Why? Because we have to enter one n value. If my n value is 3 then it will print 3 times high and at last by. If I am enter n is equal to 5 then it will print 5 times high. That's why. So our first part is completed and I am writing return type as a void. So uh, we don't require to return anything here. Now just write the main function and in main function you can call another function that is called as a function call but if I am calling one function into the same function then it is called as a recursion. So first of all write the main function and one variable we have to scan here. So I am taking here integer n. So first of all enter the number and scan the same number. So write the scanf and percentage d and percent n. Now we have to call the function. So our function name is high. So I am writing high and in bracket pass one parameter. So here I am passing n as our parameter. So when this statement will execute our control directly goes to the function definition. So write the get ch function and then after come back to our original function. So I am writing function definition after the main function that void high and integer n. Now Suppose I am enter n is equal to 3 then it will pass here in function definition. Now here we have to think about our two cases base case as well as recursive case. So just to think what is our recursive case here we have to print high number of n times. So this is the process we have to write in repetition and where we have to do stop. So when I am entering 0 or any negative number then it will just print the by statement. So in uh, function definition I am writing one if condition that our n less or equal to 0. So if my n value is 0 or less than 0 then simply it will print by and stop the execution. But if I enter positive number then then it will go to the else part and in else part I am simply print high and uh, now yeah, here we have to use our recursive case means again we have to call the function. So I am writing high and for n minus 1. This is called as a recursive case and here this statement is called as a recursion because our function name is high and in the same function we are calling the function that is high. So function calling itself is called as a recursion. Now let us see how it will execute in memory. So suppose I am enter n is equal to 3 then high 3 will be called and it will go to the uh, function definition. So when it will go at function definition first check the condition that n means 3, 3 less or equal to 0, no. Right now condition false so it will go in else part and simply print high. And again call the function that name is again high but for n minus 1 so our n value is 3 but 3 minus 1 means our new function call that high in bracket 2. Now our n value updated so again high 2 will be called. So again control goes to the our function definition but now for check the value uh, for 2 check the condition 2 less or equal to 0 condition true no again condition false so again it will go in else part and again second time it will print high and function call high n minus 1 
but now our n value is 2 so just 2 minus 1 means 1 so another function call that is high in bracket 1 so for 1 again our control goes to the function definition and our condition is like n lesser equal to 0 but now our n value is 1 so 1 lesser equal to 0 condition false so again it will go in else part and print third time high and again our function will be called and here n minus 1 so high 1 minus 1 means 0 so high 0 will be called again and go to the function definition now our n value is 0 so check the condition 0 lesser equal to 0 condition true yes now our condition true so what happen just print the by now it will not go to the else part and here in if part we have uh, not write any function calling again so now our program execution will be stop so our output is like three times high and last it will print by and stop the execution if you enter n is equal to 5 then 5 times else part will be execute and last uh, our if part will be execute and print the by so in this way we can uh, do repetition using recursion in next video we will do some more practical examples till then take care bye bye thank you so much